Okay, let's start off by doing a bore model here. We're going to use the bore model, which is just a, a diagram that represents what we think the, the structure of the atom looks like. And we're going to use our bore model to show how all the elements in the periodic table are neutral. And I've written it down here for you already, save some time. All the elements listed on the periodic table are neutral, but they'd rather be stable. This statement here is one of the driving forces behind a lot of the chemistry that we're going to be doing is the fact that in wanting to become stable, they can no longer be neutral. And so we're going to have electrons moving from atom to atom. What we will do is we're going to draw the Bohr model for aluminum. Okay, Aluminum is number 13 on your periodic table. So if I come over here, draw myself out a really nice big nucleus that nucleus has got 13 protons and if I want to do my number of neutrons my number of neutrons is going to be my atomic mass for aluminum if you look it up on the periodic table that's 27 subtract your atomic number which is 13 so your number of neutrons is 27 minus 13 is 14, so I'm going to put that here, n is 14. Okay, so I have to put all 13 electrons into my orbit. So if I have 13 protons, I have to have 13 electrons because we're going to be neutral. So 13 positives has to match off against 13 negatives. So my very first orbit, that's my k orbit. k has got a maximum of 2, top and bottom. There's two. Go to my next orbit, which is my L orbit. L has a maximum of eight. Start off at the top. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so eight plus my two is ten. I still have three to go in my last orbit, which is my M orbit. So M and I want three. One, two, three. Okay, there you go. That's your Bohr model for aluminum. And I can prove my statement about being neutral by just doing a quick little uh, writing down of all the information about protons and electrons. So let's look at this. I have 13 protons, which are positives. I have 13 electrons, which are negatives. 13 positives, 13 negatives, cancels out, which means it's neutral. I have some extra space in the paper here, so I'm going to show you a few other ways that you can have drawn an aluminum bore model. You don't have to write your protons and neutron count. I like doing that because it tells me a lot of information, and a lot of the times the question that you get asked later on is about your neutron number anyway, so you might as well do it. But I also could have said, well, I know the chemical symbol for aluminum is Al, so I could just do that, aluminum. Okay, I put my Al, and then instead of drawing these complete circles, I can just draw little partial orbits. My first orbit had two, my second orbit has eight, and my third orbit, I've got 13 in total, right, where is it, right there, so two plus eight, means that my final orbit has got three. That is another way of drawing out a Bohr model. The, I think the best way to do any of this stuff though is with something called a Lewis dot diagram. Sometimes called a Lewis structure. A Lewis dot diagram says, hey man, I'm, I'm really lazy. So let's go with our symbol so that we know that it's aluminum. And the fact we've got two here, we've got eight there, well, we're always going to have either two, eight, and then, you know, eight is the maximum amount. So why not forget about everything except this outermost shell? That's what this thing is referred to as the outermost shell. Outermost shell. O M S. Okay, if you ever see the word OMS or the symbol OMS, that means outermost shell. That's this thing right here. 
So we have three electrons. Just put your structure down as looking like that. That's a Lewis dot diagram. That tells me that I don't really care about this two and this eight. All I care about is that I have three in my outside orbit. One, two, three. So there's your Lewis dot diagram for aluminum. And we're going to practice a whole bunch of Lewis dot diagrams in a second. There you go. So we've done Bohr model, verified that they're neutral, showed another way of drawing it. In grade 10, we don't care. We only care about this outermost shell. So we're going to do Lewis dot diagrams. There you go.